Good day, everyone. I am Joel Navares from De La Salle University. I am glad to share with you this research entitled School Counselors' Knowledge, Attitudes, and Competencies on Suicide Intervention. Suicide is a major crisis when it happens inside a campus among universities. Most of the time, school counselors are faced with the challenge of helping address this concern. Suicide among adolescents has become a major public health issue globally. According to the World Health Organization, suicide is the second leading cause of death in young adults ages 15 to 29 years old, and that close to 800,000 people die due to suicide every year, which is one person every 40 seconds. While for the Philippines, there were 2,000 cases of suicide from 2000 to 2012, with majority of individuals aged between 15 to 29 years old. It is alarming that there are six individuals who commit suicide every day. Female suicide were highest in 15 to 24 years old, while male rates were highest in 15 to 34 years old. Suicidal clients are some of the most difficult and challenging for school counselors. This study is anchored to the fact that school counselors face child and adolescent suicide as frequently as any other group of mental health professionals. Thatcher and colleagues concluded that the scarcity of information regarding school counselors' work with students with suicidal behaviors needed to be answered with additional research which would offer evidence of effective intervention by school counselors. Many school counselors lack the knowledge and information required for the competent assessment of a potentially suicidal client. And that studies have highlighted the importance of attitudes towards suicide, as well as training and experience in effectively counseling potentially suicidal clients. Specifically, the research focused on the following questions. What are the counselor's level of knowledge in identifying suicidal clients? What are the attitudes of counselors towards suicide? What are the counselor's competencies in managing suicidal clients? And what are the training received by counselors in terms of handling suicidal cases? This study used the descriptive method. With 100 participants across the country, purposively selected based on this inclusion criteria that they should be a licensed guidance counselor, currently employed as a full-time college counselor, and has handled or encountered or currently handling a suicidal client. 25 participants each was selected from the National Capital Region, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Three standardized instruments measured the variables of the study, namely the literacy of suicide scale or loss, stigma of suicide scale or SOS, and suicide intervention response inventory revised or SERI 2. Quantitative data were analyzed using descriptive statistics. The results revealed that the counselors have an adequate degree of suicide literacy. The importance and the need to increasing counselors' knowledge about suicide was a significant finding of this study. Level of knowledge of suicide can be considered a significant predictor of counselors' perceived self-efficacy in identifying and intervening with students at risk for suicide. With regards to counselors' attitude towards suicide, the findings suggested that some counselors still hold stigmatizing attitudes towards suicidal behavior. Understanding attitudes towards suicide is important because of its possible relationship to other variables, such as intervention skills, and effectiveness in dealing with suicidal clients. The findings of this study also showed that counselors have varying degrees of competencies in terms of intervention skills. Enhanced skills related to suicide intervention could make a difference between the life and death of a client. The results of the study suggested that there is a need for increased training with regards to suicide intervention, and the training in suicide intervention must be a high priority for counselors. With the rising trend of severe mental health problems among the college student population, and given the strong link that exists between severe psychopathology and suicide, more training is clearly needed in this area. For the undertakings, findings, and conclusions of the current study, it is recommended that there should be more training in suicide intervention 
that can be integrated in the curriculum for counselors graduate education as well as in, in the continuing professional development offerings of counseling organizations. Case management supervision should be in place among school counseling centers to aid counselors in ensuring a more efficient management of intervention among suicidal clients. Other variables that can establish the relationship of personal and professional factors of counselors to their knowledge, attitude, and competence in suicide intervention is worthy to be explored. Suicidality can be a difficult and even scary topic for the client, their families, and even the counselors themselves. But with increased awareness, discussion, and research about this topic, the stigma can be minimized and the hope provided in effective treatments can be highlighted. That is why together we can stop suicide. Here are the literatures I have cited in this study. Should you have any questions about this study, please email me at joel.navares at dlsu.edu.ph. Thank you very much and let's all keep safe, healthy, and well.